<laughs> um, we this morning we went to an Asian grocery store um, because on Friday the Asian grocery store specifically restocked this stuff. And so I was telling Chris, I'm like, let's go, we have to get more stuff. Like we have to be there before everybody else get there so we can get good <clears> stuff. And so we got there, yay, and there was a lot of good stuff. Oh my goodness. And then this is the fruits <laughs> I got for Esmeralda and I. Chris don't really eat that. It's I don't remember what it's called. Let me see if it has a Fruit. Fruit You want more? <laughs> oh yeah, and um, this is called. Don't swallow the seed. Long longin. Long bang. So it's called longin. A longin? It's it's not as sweet as what you would get when you're in like Asia or tropical place that has it. And then we also got drinks. This is a. Uh, Grass jelly drink. Grass jelly drink. And it has like those in it and it tastes really good. I mean, uh, oh. she did. But, uh, not me. And then he had, what did you have? The guava drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it comes in like small bottles. Mm -hmm. And then you just peel the skin. And then inside it has the meat. So the meat, right? And you just eat the meat. And then inside the meat, it has the seed. And it's sweet. Princess, don't eat the seed. It has that seed. Don't choke on that. And so this seed, you can regrow it and make it into a tree. Thanks. She loves this. Brown in brown. I'm gonna try to like dry it and grow this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go through the roof. Cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told Chris we need to move to a tropical place. Like Florida. They're gonna die there. But tropical, my love. Then you got tsunamis and then the tornadoes and then the floods. Yeah. Bye bye. There you go again. <laughs> yeah, getting ready for my test. What kind of test? My fourth year of plumbing apprenticeship test to see if I pass my fourth year of plumbing. After that, then I would do another test, written and a practical, which is physical, of plumbing uh, to get my journeyman. And then you make those big bucks. And then he'll buy us a farmland and a house on a farm. And we'll grow animals, vegetables. We, that's our dream, right, my love? Yeah. <laughs> Is to have a farmland with a house and grow our own food. Basically, a homestead so we can have food that we can grow our own and be self sustainable. Amen. He wants horses because he likes horses. I, I rode him before, so. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Yeah. Just okay. keep working hard for me. Work smarter, not harder. You don't want to end up going after goals and dreams and neglect yourself. I want you to think about your goals and dreams and things that you want to achieve. And at the top of the list, I want you to put up there your strategy for being here. What are you going to do to take better care of yourself? That's one of the first things I want to ask you about. My goal is to be here not only just to see my grandchildren, but to see my great-grandchildren and my great-great-great-grandchildren. But in order to be here, that's not just lip service. That's a commitment with my time, with my energy, and the choices that I make. What's your plan? What's your goal? Because if you don't have a goal for being here, being here is not a given. I want to thank the Lord for waking me up in my right mind this morning. See, if you woke up in your right mind this morning, that's a good thing. 
It has been said that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. No, most people fail in life because they're just like I was for 14 years. They aim too low and hit, and many never aim at all. Not at all. It has been said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. So part of the process, number one, is expose yourself to positive messages. Think about your goal. Your goal for securing your life in your future to become an asset to my children rather than a liability, financially and physically. See, I don't want to be a burden to my children. Visualize yourself having optimal health. I'm having your right mind. A friend of mine, Bishop T.D. Jake, said, if you got a problem man or money can solve, you ain't got no problem. It's better to be seen than to be viewed. I want to be able to make a difference in their lives and see the impact that I had on their lives. You said also in your heart of hearts, I can do better than this. And let me share something with you. You can. Yeah, that's the horses. Oh, that's the bunnies. What? What? Wow. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop and stop. <laughs> Work on your mind and have mindset development. In order to be successful, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Your mind is a machine. You must program yourself for success. There's more in you than you have been expressing. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. What it will begin to do is interrupt the story in your mind. It will override the story that you believe about yourself. It will distract all the negative thoughts that you have that's holding you back. So one you have to do is that you have to have a mindset development strategy where you are deliberately taking an hour every day listening to a motivational message. Read 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. Why? And read it with conviction and, and stay focused. 10 to 15 pages every day. You have to look at your relationships and you've got to ask yourself the question. What is this relationship doing to me? And I mean in every area of your life. Part of your mindset development, not only listening, not only reading, but you have got to look at your relationships upgrade your relationships and continue to evaluate them and make sure they're an asset to you and not a liability. Write down the goals that you want to achieve. Write them down, put them on a 3 by 5 card, use a King James Version Bible and, and Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you.